Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to install Golang. Please like and subscribe for more videos and to help this channel grow. So the first thing we need to do is go to golang.org to try to get the newest version of Go. So uh, their website actually hasn't really changed very much for quite a long time. So you'll probably see this gopher uh, on the beginning and you can uh, play in this playground if you want to just try Go out before installing it, but we want to install today. So we will just go to this big blue button called Download Go. And then you have uh, all the compiled versions here. Uh, usually the newest version is on top. So uh, at the time of this video, we are at Go 1.13.5. You might be on Microsoft Windows. If that's the case, then uh, go ahead and download the Windows MSI file. Um, if I just click on it, I'm on Linux right now, so I'll have to download the Linux version. But uh, whenever you click on it, you'll get pr uh, prompted with the MSI download. Um, just click OK if you're on Windows. And then uh, scroll down, and it tells you everything you need to know about installing it, specifically that the uh, Go path um, or the directory that it's installed in is C drive slash Go. So it's at your root directory. You'll find C drive slash Go slash bin. Uh, and the installer should automatically put everything in your path if you just run the MSI uh, like normal in Windows. Okay, so they also have an installer for uh, OS X, which is just a normal PKG file. What we're going to do is for Linux, uh, the pre-compiled Linux binaries, and then you also have the source code that you can download and compile if you want to. So um, what we're going to do is download uh, the Linux version, and this is what we want. So notice. This is the SHA-256 checksum, so we're going to need this as well. I've already downloaded it, so let's go to my downloads folder. And what I need to do now is compare the checksum to make sure that, you know, I got the correct file and everything's okay. Uh, it's not a signature, it's just a checksum, relatively easy to check. So I will go to the downloads folder, and then SHA-256sum. And then the only thing in there is the go file. So that's going to calculate the sum and 5121AA569. So that's actually looking pretty good. So um, now we have calculated the SHA-256 sum of the um, uh, installer file. And I got the same uh, hash value, so it looks OK. OK, so I know that that's all right. So now all we have to do is install it. And uh, if you go in and click on it. Whenever you start to download, um, it will tell you how to install um, everything. It gives you all of the commands. So here we have tar uh, cap dash capital C user local and then xzf and then the go uh, file, the go tar archive. And what this does is unzips or untars the um, uh, the binaries or the go binaries into the folder user local. So this is going to actually install everything into user local and we're going to have to use sudo. So I've already checked this uh, file so I know everything inside of it is actually what I want it to be. So I'm okay using sudo to install into user local. Um, make sure you open up the archive first and you know what's inside of it before you go uh, running commands like this. But uh, I've already checked it before this so I'm okay doing it. Okay, because we're using sudo, it's going to ask for my username and password. Okay, and then now it should be installed. So uh, what I would normally need to do uh, next is set the path. So on Linux, uh, if you don't already have Go uh, installed and you haven't already set the path, you need to tell your computer where the Go um, binary or the Go variable is. Now in Windows, this path will be set for you. Uh, in Linux, we need to set it. So we need to edit the home.profile uh, file and then set the path to include the Go path that we just installed to. So this is user, local. Remember, we installed everything there. We installed the Go folder. And in the bin folder, you'll find the Go binary or the Go executable. So I will show you the profile. Um, Let's go to just home and nano.profile. Now dot in Linux is uh, a hidden file. So um, in your home directory, you'll have these hidden files if you look for them. And then if I go and search for go, at the very bottom, I've already added my path. So path equals uh, the path variable. And then um, 
added on to the end user local go bin. Now what that tells my computer to do is say, okay, go into this go folder and look at all the binaries in there and um, run any programs that are in there, or at least allow them uh, to run. Um, just be aware that they're in there basically. So that way we can run them. Okay. So once I save, I'm in nano. So if I do control O and then enter that saves, and if I do control X, then I can get out of it. Okay. So now all we have to do is check that Go is actually running and it's the version we expect. We expect, uh, what was it, version 13.5, 1.13.5. So I just run Go version. And here I should get Go version uh, 1.13.5. And you see that that's what I get when I run Go version. So if you got an error here uh, or if nothing ran, so for example, if I just type taco, that shouldn't be a command. Yeah, so then it'll say no command found right? Uh, if you get this type of error instead of the Go version, that means that uh, for some reason it doesn't detect the Go binary. So check your path, make sure that you've installed it correctly and you installed it in the correct location. Uh, go back and then try to reinstall it into, uh, in our case, slash user slash local. Make sure that there is a Go folder in that directory. Um, if Go is running, but for some reason it was a different uh, version, then you might have a conflict, different Go versions ran in there. Again, um, check what was installed and where it was installed to. So just make sure whenever you type Go version, you're getting the version that you expect. And um, if it says Go version and it gives you the uh, version and um, uh, architecture, then you're good to go. Okay. Uh, all right, and then that's pretty much it for installing Go. Now we actually have uh, Go installed, so um, we can do a quick test. And they give you this kind of hello world uh, Go uh, code. I'm just going to copy and paste this directly. Okay, so I'm going to uh, make a file called test.go, and then I'm just going to paste everything in there. Uh, and that's pretty much enough. I know that uh, package main will make a binary. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm importing uh, a library, which is the format library, and then I'm using the format library to print some text, which is hello world. So um, uh, we'll talk about what all these do later, but if you just copy and paste and then control O to save and then control X to get out of it, uh, then we have our file. Then we can just run go build. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so go build is uh, it, our test.go file built, and then uh, we got the test binary out here. So if I do lslha to list more details about the test binary. So this test binary was created uh, from the Go code. Okay, so this is our script that we wrote, the hello world, and then this is our test binary. So if I want to run that test binary, I just do dot slash test and there's no extension so I can just hit enter and then hello world. So now we know that um, our code is running on Windows. This would basically be the same thing. You could run, you could uh, create this test.go file in Notepad. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We know that Go is installed. We have the newest version. We have Go uh, binary location added to our path. We were able to build uh, a hello world test application and we were able to run it successfully. So that's it for installing Go. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Also, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support lets us focus on making better tutorials for everyone.